It's a movie about people falling in love based on how they look. Ah. Uh. Hey, what is up? My name is Catherine and welcome to my channel. Today, we are gonna be watching Nina Dobrev's new movie on Netflix. It's called Love Hard. It's a Christmas rom-com, I believe. And we're gonna give it the full Your Girl Kath treatment, which means doing my silly little edits, making my silly little comments, and giving you my full thoughts at the end of the video. I'm not like a huge Christmas or holiday person, but I am a huge Nina a Dobrev person, so getting in the holiday spirit. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you subscribe and let's get started. It's been said that according to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. That bathroom is so cute. They're fearing their power. She's so Since pretty, like what the heck? But if that's true, then Zeus is an asshole. Period. For years, I've been chronicling my disaster dates under the pseudonym, Always a Bridesmaid. Isn't that the like, how to lose a guy in 10 days plot? I'm kind of a sucker for this plot. You're only looking local. I mean, I had to import Mark from Ohio for God's sake. It's sense. always Ohio when movies want a random place. Gas is so expensive. It's cheaper just to do a bunch of cocaine and then run everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But no kiwi because I know, I know you're allergic. No kiwi. She's gonna have an allergy attack in this. It's making me miserable. Everyone's miserable. You'll find me at home in Lake Placid, New York, planning my next Lana Del Rey's hometown. Wow. Looking for a woman who's spontaneous and drama free. Mm -mm. If someone says that, it's an instant swipe left. Love Actually? Worst Christmas movie ever. It's a movie about people falling in love based on how they look. Ah. Uh. I like to think it's a story about the triumph of love over reality. I can work with that. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Everything That's easy. Hands down, Die Hard. Um, <laughs> I F with that. I've definitely watched Die Hard with my dad on at least a couple of Christmases. yippee ki -yay, I do. Uh, Elena and Stefan danced to this song together in season one of The Vampire Diaries during the decade dance. May I have this dance? Just saying. Really, there's only one con. What? You've never seen him. Are you satisfied? Oh, yeah, she's satisfied. I... Oh my God. When I first saw your profile, I thought you'd just be another Girls guy. only want one it's thing, really and it's the bathroom. I am looking respectfully. I had no idea that this movie was so homoerotic. That's how I felt the first time I watched Talladega Nights. I was like, no one told me this was an LGBT movie. I would have watched this 10 years ago. Mm -mm. Stayed on the phone all night. Oh, I guess I really should have gotten the Verizon Unlimited plan. Does anyone not have <laughs> unlimited calling anymore? Like, isn't that just like baseline? Remember when unlimited texting like wasn't the standard? Natalie, my office now. Your dating life is a disaster, but you should be thankful because it's why you have a job. Does this company not have an HR team? You gotta leave the serious stuff to the real journalists like Steve. Screw Steve. I did. Hashtag don't tell HR. Okay, so they do have HR. You know what? <laughs> this is going to be the most epic love story. I can think of a few friend. more epic love stories. Okay, excuse me, I have bags to pack. Does Lake Placid even have an airport? Of course they lost her luggage. I cannot get used to seeing people not wearing masks in public. You're here. This office is open. It's literally hours. Don't be a Karen baby. But like, did she really wear that on a six hour flight? I refuse to believe that. Is this a joke? Oh, the gig economy is no joke. I'm the only Uber in town. Fine, I'll get a lift. He's the only Lyft driver in town. You want some papaya, kiwi? No kiwi. I would swell up like a blowfish. Okay, they've mentioned it again. Yeah, she's totally gonna have an allergic reaction and the person catfishing her is gonna save her life. Okay, can you please just turn the radio off? Hey, that's a great song and a classic. Yeah, it's been putting the hip in row hypnol since 1944. She literally has the prettiest eyes in the whole world. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you give this to Josh? Okay, Snoop. Hi, yeah, I'm uh, Natalie Bauer. I'm here to see Josh Lynn. Is he home? I'm Barb. I'm Josh's mom. I'm a Barb, too. 
Is that the Mormons again? For the last time, we're not converting. It's not the Mormons, Bob! This is Josh's dad, and this is his grandmother, June. I want grandma's Patagonia. Am I crazy? A little. Uh, yeah, maybe a little. You Josh! Someone's here to see you! Surprise! Surprise! Natalie? Um... I forgot my luggage, so I'm gonna... I love that we're pretending that he's not handsome. I'm pretty good at Photoshop. No, seriously, that's so insanely oh, easy to do. Nice. Not the baby Jesus. No, 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 no. Kind of psychopath creates a fake profile and then starts a fake relationship. Ah, no one lies. Oh. What kind of psycho flies across the country and just shows up at somebody's front lawn? That's a really good point, Diane. Thank you so much for bringing that up. How does she have his address? I never want to see you again, okay? You don't even know where you're going! I'll let baby Jesus take the wheel! Grab me another one of these green apple thingies. I got you. What's that, baby? It's so sad I ask. So he's real. His personality is gonna suck. No, I won't do that. How can she not feel that? Be respectful. Condition. Okay, so, so far his personality doesn't totally suck. have an allergic reaction and the person catfishing her is gonna save her life. I'm psychic. You took me to a vet? <laughs> well, the real human hospital is 30 minutes away and I didn't want to risk it. It's very giving Shit's Creek. So, you met the real tag tonight, huh? Mm -hmm. If you want him to notice you, you gotta do something different. Oh, he noticed me tonight. I? Can help you so get he's gonna me. help her actually get with him, but she's gonna actually fall in love with Josh. Well, I'll tell you what, Sherlock Holmes. Maybe you can do something for me in return. Pretend to be his girlfriend at Christmas. Pretend to be my girlfriend until Christmas? It's almost like Netflix rom-coms are predictable. We should probably address the uh, catfish in the room. You do realize that at some point you were gonna have to meet me. That's a really good point, Diane. Thank you so much for bringing that up. I had my profile up for a year. And guess how many matches I got? Three. So just as an experiment, I thought I could use a picture of a standard hot guy and see what will happen. I got 85 matches in five minutes. So apparently there's plenty of girls out there. They just didn't want to date me. I mean, mm -hmm. honestly, I want that shirt. The next morning. We went to make Gregor's for karaoke. Mm-hmm. Oh, how was that? Oh. It was uh, swell, right, Natalie? <laughs> The pen is mightier than the penis. Come on, let's be a company, so. Okay, the first thing you need to know about Tag is he likes outdoorsy, adventurous women, not Instagram models who count carbs. I don't count carbs. I monitor them. Walden, are you kidding me? Thoreau is an asshole. Well, pretend you like it because that's Tag's favorite book. Tag? I want you to meet my cousin Natalie and uh, Natalie. Yeah, calling her your cousin. No way this is gonna blow up in your face. From my stepmom's side, so that would technically make us step cousins. Oh. A distinction that only really matters if you're from Alabama. <laughs> what the fuck? That's my favorite book. I reread it every year. Really? Yeah. I've never oh. simped over no. someone like so quickly yeah. and so hard like this. The best. Well I I actually teach a survival course in Yosemite every summer. Savage! You climb. Me? Do I climb? I'll climb anything that moves. Yeah, no way this lie is gonna get her in a bad situation. I'm an aggro. You know, a few of us are actually climbing at Rock Ventures tomorrow too when to join. Hell yeah, let's do it. Great. Mm -hmm. I once broke my toe climbing out of bed. How am I gonna well, climb a wall? A clumsy female protagonist of a rom-com. What a completely unique and never done before character type. I'm kind of an asshole. First of all, this is totally me. I'm so freaking scared of heights. It's not even funny. Second of all, she could like play this off and say that she started getting into climbing to try to overcome her fear of heights, but that she still is really scared of heights. I love coming up with lies for people who are bad at lying in movies and TV shows. It's like my favorite thing. Yeah, well, if it wasn't for Invisalign and Accutane, you would not have swiped on me. Well, if it wasn't the tax photos, you wouldn't have swiped on me. Is this how you boil your Does he make candles? Careful, careful, careful. That's a, a wax really warmer cute. for candle making. It's 
very expensive. I created my own line of masculine candles. Ah, uh, I love gendered capitalism. You have a brother? The prodigal son has returned! Oh, this is Natalie. Oh, is she grandma's new nurse? No. Ah, she must be in uh, mom's new book club. At this point, oh, she has she to actually fall in love with him. First of all, the way his family treats him, not okay. The most chubby little cheek. He was eight. <laughs> you know, I'm actually super grateful for my awkward teenage years. They helped me develop resilience, empathy. <laughs> if it wasn't for that, I'd be, I don't know, an insensitive, attention-seeking jerk. I love her for that. The next time he tries to steal the spotlight, steal it back. She looks really cute These with that little scar. I'm serious, steal it back. Put these in. What? Why? We'll help you relax. And it's your favorite song. Like the friendship is really cute relax. so far, honestly. Uh, relax. Yeah. Oh. Is this anyone's favorite song, like for real? I thought you guys said this was hard. Not bad. I fear I may have girl bossed a bit too close to the sun. Is Josh gonna come get her? The highest angel sing. Maybe it's cold outside. Natalie and I got this one, Dad. <laughs> my cold, dead, lifeless body. Bestie to told him to upstage his brother. Still a little spotlight. So, so it doesn't sound so uh, <laughs> rapey. This evening has been totally consensual. <laughs> Maybe just go. Like, did he write a parody of this song forever ago because he also hates it? Or did he just improv? Like, how did he have that ready to go? We're pregnant. I'm so, so proud of you. May I, may I have everyone's attention, please? This is such a mess. Uh, Owen and Chelsea, I just want to say congratulations. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. Will you marry me? <gasps> the next time we try to steal the spotlight, steal it back. I can't blame anyone else anymore. This bit is worse than him using someone else's picture to catfish her. So much worse. You are dating the real tag and you're engaged to the fake tag? Correct. My god, honey, you were gonna make a therapist very wealthy one day. Honestly, this has been nice. Where did she get all of the I've clothes? Been on a hike eight years. Did her suitcase oh, come back and I wasn't paying it's attention? Just warm up. You ever been bobsledding before? Actually, I think I have something even better. Oh, baby. <laughs> Honestly, that looks really fun. Oh, I've never felt more alive. I've never felt more alive. In some cultures, height and facial symmetry are repulsive. Hey guys, the movie's about to start. What movie? The greatest Christmas movie of all time. If it's Polar Express, I'm gonna have a really hard time. Okay. He's from Game of Thrones. Is he? No, he's from that zombie show. Walking Dead. Ew, I hated that documentary. The mind of a mastermind, what's that? Your engagement announcement. It's gonna be in the Gazette tomorrow. I'd sue. <laughs> You're coming home with me. I'm pretty sure that paper boy is gonna get fired over this. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my job. A pretty decent photo of you though. Look at that. Do you still have your original profile photos? Let's recap for a second. You're holding a wrench, an ax, and some rope. Were you actually trying to find a girlfriend? And you're a vegetarian, but Tag's a real meat and potatoes type of guy, and he likes his girls the same way. Okay, so I'll eat a potato. I've definitely uh, eaten meat because of a man before. That's what she said! I have simped that hard. Every conversation we had, every text we exchanged, every laugh we shared, it was me. You liked me. And you liked me so much, you flew across the country to surprise me for Christmas. That's a really good point, Diane. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Like, I can't tell whose side I'm really on in terms of, like, the lie. Because he literally was only lying about the appearance. What did she order? You don't celebrate Christmas? No. Okay. Like, what if he was just yep. Jewish? Mood. 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 Many of you have expressed interest <laughs> in online dating. Well, I've brought you two experts. What if I spruce it up just a little bit? Instead of has Parkinson's, I go with uh, always on the move. <laughs> I want to avoid idea. mentioning that I'm in a wheelchair. I'll just change it. Say I enjoy rolling with my homies. <laughs> rolling with my homies. 
bad. These bitches are funny. Would prefer staying in over going out. <laughs> <laughs> now, why is he just in the common area like that? There's someone else on the other side of that lie. Falling in love with a version of you that doesn't exist, and the only way it ends for you is heartbreak. Realizing things. I'm so busy being mad at you that I I never stopped to think about why you actually did it. Even though he told you why he did it. Paris, there's a surprise engagement party. Where's the bride to be anyway? I haven't met her yet. She's doing the rounds. And again, thinking of lies she could tell in this situation. So Tag and Lee are here. Lee? Are you dating two guys now? No, he's boss. Okay. Hey, bitch. I want to introduce you to my parents. I'm out. She is a writer for a disaster date column, and you are not her fiance. You are her subject. Don't. Wait, what? That. What is he talking about? Like they talked for two weeks and she didn't once say what she does for work. So let's all raise a glass to future <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Yeah, Lynn, Josh and- No! Four weeks ago, I met a guy online. Here's the big dramatic speech. She swipes right on his real profile. One year in the future, they're getting married on Christmas. What about the row? I hate him. So you got mad at Josh for catfishing you. And then yeah, you go honestly. and do the exact same thing to me. That's a really good point, Diane. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Okay, did she leave a candle burning unattended? Don't be afraid to be you. That's such an issue. I don't know how you did it, but this smells exactly like Grandpa. Are you saying that you don't want to work at the store anymore? No, I, I don't. Thank God. <laughs> I love you, son, but... Okay, but they could also totally sell those sports candles sports. at the family <laughs> store. Like what? Josh is imperfect, but yet you decided to stay? It doesn't really matter. Honey, it's the only thing that matters. That's a really good point, Diane. Thank you so much for- Who is it? What did she do? <laughs> Wait, that's really cute. Sorry, Coffee and Love actually is like cute. <laughs> Why do I get emotional so easily? Not me, email. Like, still though, she's only known him for like a month. Still not enough time to know that someone's perfect for you. Honestly, that was cute. And listen, first of all, I'm biased because I love Nina Dobrev. I could actually watch her just paint a wall for eight hours on end. And I also like, my expectations for Netflix movies and Netflix shows get like lower and lower every year. It was definitely like a predictable movie. And I think that most movies are nowadays i'm not gonna say predictable but i will say formulaic because streaming services are trying to get out as many movies as they possibly can it definitely felt like really similar to i don't know if y'all watched holiday it's like there's this couple and their whole relationship is based on a lie obviously like very different type of lie vibes but they're just like running around lying to the family the whole time and then it's gonna end up blowing up in their face or whatever um i don't go into a netflix movie and i'm like oh this is gonna be directed by ari aster like no i go into a netflix movie and i know what i'm gonna be watching i'm gonna be watching a netflix movie and it was definitely better than what i have come to expect for netflix movies there was some like genuinely cute moments in it and like there was like the two main like the, the die hard versus love actually and i love that she did that at the end and then he wrote that at the end like that's really cute guys i literally i i got up was standing up, walking around my room, taking my lipstick off because I'm about to go eat dinner now. And I finally realized, <laughs> I finally realized that this is called Love Hard because it's a play on words of Die Hard. Well, I'll tell you what, Sherlock Holmes, you are unbelievable. I prefer Christmas movies like that versus like movies where like the whole plot is about it being Christmas. Like where it just like it happens to be Christmas while this is taking place. And it's like a little bit Christmassy, but it's not like too much. The holidays stress me out. So yeah, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you had fun hanging out with me and I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all.